In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the HP OfficeJet 3830 all-in-one printer. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. So let's slice the tape on top of the box. So on top of the box, you have some documentation. We'll set that aside for now. And next you'll find the power cable and the color and black and white cartridges that come with the printer. Let's set these aside for now. We'll get back to them later. And right on top of the box, after you've taken all that stuff out, is this piece of cardboard. You want to pull that out. And now it's time to get the printer itself out of the box. So I've laid the box on its side on the table. You can do this on the floor as well if you'd like. And what I'm going to do is grab the plastic bag that's on the inside. It has two grab handles on the inside. You want to grab on those and pull the printer. And it just gently slides out. Now be really careful, you don't want it to fall off the foam and then fall off the table. So make sure that you secure it as soon as it comes out of the box. So let's get rid of the cardboard and the foam and then start setting the printer up. Now the next step is to remove all the shipping inserts, the shipping cardboard inserts and all the pieces of tape that were used during shipping. You want to make sure every piece of tape and every cardboard insert is removed because if you don't, it will stop your printer from functioning properly. So take the time to remove all the cardboard inserts and the pieces of tape. Now the HP quick start guide that comes with the printer also specifies exactly where these cardboard inserts are. So this is really helpful in finding all the cardboard inserts and removing them. Okay, so let's remove the pieces of tape on top and on the sides. There's also an insert inside here that you need to remove and in order to remove that you're going to have to open this front compartment and then this just pulls out like so. Then there are some more pieces of tape inside here. You want to make sure you remove them by opening this compartment in here and when you open this compartment all the way in here for some reason HP has stuck a piece of cardboard all the way inside there so you need to make sure that's removed as well so get rid of that and now you can close first the inner compartment then remove this other piece of tape that's on the inside so make sure that's removed as well and then you can close the outer compartment and then you're done with removing the pieces of tape and cardboard inside there are a few more on the back as well again peel off these pieces of tape and peel off the other piece of tape as well and while you're doing that, you can also pull up the paper load tray and set it into place. We'll get back to that in a second. And while you're in the back, you may also want to plug in your power cable. So plug the power cable into the slot on the back. There's also a protective piece of film on the front that you can remove. And there's another piece of film on the front screen. There's also a couple of pieces of tape behind this panel on the top. So if you open this panel up, there's one piece of tape on the inside, peel that off, and all the way inside there's another piece that you need to peel off as well. Don't forget to close the panel, and now you can plug your power cable into a wall outlet. Let's now power it on using the power button on the left hand side. Press the power button and the screen comes to life and the printer begins to boot up. So as you can see we've come to the first set of options on the screen. And in this case, it's asking us to select our language. In my case, I'll select English. And then it asks me whether I'd like to confirm the selection. I'll hit yes. Now it wants me to select the country or region I'm in. In my case, it's the USA. And then again, confirm. On the screen that follows, it would like me to set the date. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to set the date to what it is and then hit next. And the same thing with the time. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the time. There's an actual slider up here to adjust the time and then hit done. The next step is to install the ink cartridges. And there's a little video here. If you touch this video icon, it'll actually show you an animation that walks you through the steps required to install the cartridge. So that's what we're going to do next. So as the animation video showed us, we're going to open up the front panel and then open up the panel on the inside, all the way on the inside. Open that up and you'll notice that the cartridge tray slides into view. So there are two slots for the cartridges, one for the color and one for the black cartridge. Now before you start installing the cartridges, you want to get the cartridge out of its packaging. 
This is the tricolor cartridge. And in order to prep it for installation, you want to make sure you remove this piece of tape on the back. And you should be able to see the contacts on the back of the cartridge. So I've prepped both cartridges and they're now ready for installation. So it's important to remember that when installing the cartridge, the end with the electrical contacts on the back goes into the printer first. So you're going to insert the cartridge into the printer with the contact first and push till it locks into place. And you're going to repeat the same exact procedure for the black cartridge as well. Push it till it locks into place. And now you can close the compartment covers. First the inner compartment cover and then the outer compartment cover. Make sure it's locked in and closed. Now on screen it thanks you for using genuine HP cartridges. Hit OK. And now it asks you to load paper in the printer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the paper tray is on the back and in case you didn't pull it up earlier, make sure to do so right now. Now this specific printer does not have a closed paper tray, which is kind of a disadvantage, but still works reasonably well. Now one thing to pay attention to when loading paper into the paper tray is that there is a paper guide, which is this gray tab on the left. And what you're going to do is move it to the specific size of paper that you load. I'm going to be loading letter size paper, so I'm going to leave it all the way to the left. And then I'm going to go ahead and load some letter sized paper into the tray. And on the screen now it asks you whether you loaded plain paper. I'll hit yes. And now it says that it is printing an alignment page. And as you can see now it is printing out the alignment page. Which we will use very soon. So as you can see this is the alignment page. And what you're going to do is place this on the flatbed scanner. And you're going to place it on the front right hand corner. Let me show you how to do that. So in order to do that open up your scan bed and then we're going to place the alignment page face down and line it up with this mark on the top right hand corner. Close your scan bed. Now on screen you want to hit OK and it'll tell you that it is now scanning the alignment page. That took a few seconds and now you can see a message on screen that says alignment successful. I'm going to hit OK. And from this point on, you can do the rest of the setup for this printer, either using a computer or a smartphone or tablet. So let's hop onto a computer and set this up. So I'm going to set this printer up using a Windows computer. However, the procedure is almost identical in case you use a Mac. The first step is to open up a web browser. In my case, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And into the address bar, you're going to type 123.hp.com forward slash OJ3830 and then hit enter. Now the next page that opens up provides you a download link to the specific software and drivers required to print to this printer. So I'm going to click download and wait for that file to download. Now you'll notice that an HP Easy Start download begins and completes downloading and that's on the bottom left hand corner. You want to double click that and it'll open up. And it's going to take a few more seconds to load up. And then it asks that you make sure your printer is powered up and that you have paper ready to load. And you want to click the I have reviewed and accepted their policies button. Then hit continue. And now it wants to know if you'd like to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network using the HP Auto Wireless Connect. I'm going to use that and then hit continue and it will automatically try and locate your printer and then connect it to your local Wi-Fi network that is the Wi-Fi network in your house and this process generally does take a few seconds to complete. It seems to be done with that process and now it wants to know if you'd like to enroll in HP Instant Ink. This is the ink subscription service from HP. At this point I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click skip warranty and account registration. I do highly recommend that you do at least the warranty registration. The next screen again lets me know about the HP Instant Ink option. I'm just going to click continue. And if you don't want to enroll in Instant Ink, I recommend clicking on the no Instant Ink option and then hit continue again. And then again, rather annoyingly, it asks you whether you're sure about deactivating Instant Ink. And I'm going to click no, I don't want instant ink. I just prefer to use regular cartridges. Then it says your printer is almost ready to use. I'm going to hit continue. And now it's looking for the software that is required for this product. 
So let's give it a few seconds. In terms of software, it gives you three different options, HP Smart, the full driver and software package, or just basic drivers. In my opinion, just install the HP Smart, which is the recommended option, and then click continue. For some reason, the next thing it does is opens up the HP Smart app on the Microsoft Store, and this seems to be free, so I'm just gonna click get. So it says that it is downloading HP Smart, and this again could take a few seconds. And now it says that it is installing HP Smart, and I'll just launch it. And when I launch HP Smart, it asks me to check the, I have reviewed and accept the default data collection settings option. Hit continue. And now it says that I need to click on the setup option to enable all HP Smart features. So click setup and let's see what it does. Again, it brings us back to the HP account benefits page hit continue, and on the next page, it reminds me that my printer is eligible for HP Instant Ink. Again, I'm gonna hit continue, and again, select the no instant ink option, hit continue again, and then say, no, I don't want instant ink for the second time, hit continue. Then it says that it is collecting printer status. And once I close that pop-up menu, it now says that it is ready to use. And this app is pretty handy because I can actually scan to this app see my cartridge levels and do a few other really cool things. So that's all it takes to set this printer up. It's fairly straightforward and it's reasonably simple to perform as long as you follow the steps that I just laid out. Now I will be doing a full review of this printer, so stay tuned for that. And if you're looking to buy the HP OfficeJet 3830, I'll leave a link right below the video. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.